Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as that Russian SFSR. So, uh, take a look at the year. It's almost literally been a year since I left you guys last time and complained about how there were just too many naval invasions. But, within that year, I have definitely made a lot of gains, and a lot of uh, frustrations, but mostly gains. So, as you can tell, let's talk about Africa. Right now... I pretty much have most of Africa taken care of. Uh, what I did is I eventually pushed through Iraq, Syria, and through this area, which I'm not going to name, and then through Egypt, and used my tanks to push all the way through North Africa. I also have left my tanks here just in case because I am a little worried that the Allies might navally invade me at the moment if I don't have anyone guarding any of these naval ports or even this coast of North Africa. I am waiting for my Coast Guards to, of course, get down here. And then I'll move my tanks out of the way. Uh, followed up with that, I pushed down. Portugal actually did a really, really great job. They're actually a really good ally in this campaign. They went from Somaliland and Eritrea, which I gave them after the Second World War. And they just helped push the allies out of Egypt, out of Chad. And have helped our Republican Spanish ally, who actually capitulated earlier. And now I've sent most of my army, or still sending most of my army down to South Africa so we can help finish off South Africa and then finish off Western Africa later on. Uh, in terms of India, India was actually so easy to beat that I didn't even pay attention to it. Apparently, I mean, I have a bunch of guys down here right now, but I did I did move around a lot of my generals just because I needed divisions elsewhere, and that's how come you see a much more organized army list on my right. So, I have quite a few guys actually here, and uh, yeah, they're doing... We're doing pretty darn well. This army, of course, is down, getting close to Japan. Like I said before about Japan, though, is that, yeah, no one is trying to beat up Japan that much. Uh, I have sunk a few more ships, but they have less than 200 ships in total. Uh, I guess I'll just tell you about the USA ships. They're doing nothing. They have less than 300, which is great. Uh, Canada has a little more than 100, probably 130-ish. But the UK, I've been bombing the hell out of the UK. I'm actually using my Navy right now in... The Eastern Northern Sea. There's only one fleet for now. Three battleships and 12 destroyers. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's not a great fleet template, especially after patch 1.7. But I am running patch 1.7, not patch 1.71, which further tweaked the naval meta. Anyways, regardless, uh, this fleet has been doing extremely well. Look at these destroyers. I mean, they are all veterans, almost. Almost all of them. And my battleships are really good. I have an extra... Battleship and two screens, which isn't really good naval meta. <laughs> but I have the battleship Karl Marx, which is freaking awesome. So, and right now I've been blowing up a lot of American ships. But for the UK ships, I've been bombing the living crap out of them. The UK is on scrape in the barrel. They have over 6 million manpower probably. But they have less than 100 ships. I've been taking them out extremely hard. I've been exterminating them with extreme prejudice. I mean, it's ridiculous. And also, as you can tell, I have made one hell of a push from Italy into southern France, eventually united up here. I somehow pushed through the Maginot Line, not through Belgium, but I actually went through the Maginot, Maginot, Maginot Line, Maginot, Maginot, Maginot Line, and I still haven't capitulated the French, but I was just about to launch my final offensive against the French, in which they would capitulate, and then I'd start thinking about the invasion of the UK. And of course, help liberate Spain down here as well. Uh, I mean, between the time I left you, and now, there was probably at least five allied naval invasions of Italy. I mean, it was just ridiculous about the number of naval invasions that I have had to endure because of the AI. But regardless, I don't want to try to bitch and moan too much about that right now. But uh, let's just continue on, having a good time with each other. Uh, take back Sicily for the 17th time. And yeah, we're doing pretty darn well. I mean, honestly, our faction's pretty big. This is going to be a world conquest. So, with that in mind, I will take out all the enemy nations. Uh, however, I do need more steel right now. I actually need more steel. I actually have enough rubber, surprisingly. At least at the moment, so. That's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I definitely need more steel. Germany, I'll do that. And then borrow some more from... Uh, I can get some from Poland, sure, why not? That'll be good. Right now, I'm producing a lot of military factories and dockyards, naval dockyards, just because I don't have enough dockyards. But then again, I really don't have enough steel to support all those shipbuilding. Uh, I do have one light cruiser for, if you really want to know, in one of my task forces. I am trying to make more, though. 
Yeah, I can't make any because I don't have steel. Another destroyer. Another super heavy battleship, which will replace this one with better radar. Uh, yeah, I could use probably more another 1944 cruiser. And I've been trying to research carriers. Even though carriers aren't that great anymore, at least what I've heard in the naval meta, they're really not great. So, go figure. Anyways, Leningrad, that's good. Uh, also, I, I need to get to the next infantry equipment, but I'm actually out of infantry equipment at the moment. Everything else besides heavy tanks is pretty okay. For a while, my heavy fighters were doing actually really poorly, but whatever. You know, things happen. Uh, yeah, other than that, we got 253 Coast Guard divisions, which is really awesome. Just destroying enemies' navies while I'm monitoring how my own fleets are doing. But, oh wow, he's got a lot of little thingies here. What level is he? Do we know? I mean, hmm, I guess we don't know. Not enough torpedoes, I heard torpedoes, wow, we keep sinking more, okay, cool. Oh, hello? We can invite the Irish people. Hmm, hmm, hello there, James Larkin. I've never heard of you before because I'm not Irish, I guess. But, uh, you know, if you want to join me, and you want to reclaim this part of this Northern Ireland? You know, screw it. Yeah, why not? Screw it. Hell, I'll take some help. Somehow, some way, some I don't understand it, but apparently, more and more people have been coming more. Oh, very nice. Left wing or communist in this game? It's very interesting to watch. Very, very interesting. Because even Brazil apparently went socialist. Um. So that was really interesting to see. Obviously, with the communist United States, who's a piece of garbage to all of us. But, yeah, it's interesting to see that all of a sudden, you get some South American nation or some country in the world that just goes communist. Wasn't... I've been playing Hoi 4 too much. I keep get forgetting which direction or which ideology Mexico falls under. Uh, cool. Some American... Oh, we sunk a British ba battleship. Nice. So, yeah, uh, we have... might have, We might have closed out the Mediterranean. I mean, we have Ceuta. Ceuta? Ceuta? Which makes the Gibraltar Strait contested, which is good. But so they might be able to still get supplies through here. I mean, I have the Suez on lockdown, which is great. But whatever. And who wants to rebel or raise their autonomy? Romanian People's Republic. No, Romania. I can't let you do that. Actually, I'm gonna make a steel factory because I actually need some steel really badly. Um, Romania. I already boosted up all your oil production there. I'll do that. Cool. Uh, I don't have enough political power to do very much, but right now, let's go ahead and have a good time with the French. Actually, we don't have enough supplies. Um, you say that you don't, ha you wouldn't be doing very well against these guys. Actually, before we do that, let's check on our, ooh, that's not good. Uh, sure, we'll get some more medium bombers. I am apparently out of heavy fighters, so keep that in mind. Yeah, I guess I'm out of heavy fighters. That's really not good. Uh, let's see. Guys, go ahead and just take them out. Certain areas are weak. Certain areas are somewhat strong. I kind of don't mind if we just do a simple attack. Let's see what happens. I mean, be careful where you attack. Like, this is a, obviously a very good area to attack. Drain the enemy of their manpower. Oh, I want to show you casualties before we move on. Uh, I've suffered over 5 million. Our Axis... Our Axis? No. Our faction has suffered about... 8.68, almost 8.7. While the Allies have suffered over 17 million casualties, the British have suffered over 4. Canadians have suffered over a million. Uh, anything else worth noteworthy? The French have suffered 2.3, 2 and a third. Belgium? Belgium People's Republic? What the heck? Okay, so they went communists as well, but they're still fighting me. Greece is almost capitulated. I have to take Crete. There are three quarters of a million people lost. Mexico has actually lost 800,000? Wow, I don't think I really fought that many Mexican divisions, but, uh, yeah, in the United States, or the Communist States of America has lost over three and a half million, which is pretty good for us. Awesome. And I have sent some more naval bombers down here on the coast of Morocco, so we can bomb whatever's coming through here. How's this looking? Uh, if you guys can, like, go ahead. Uh, I think I already told you to go ahead, so. I mean, I took, like, an hour and a half just to get to this point, because, you know, we have quite a bit of lag here, not gonna lie. It hasn't been great lag. So, Also, I wanted to share with you that apparently Saudi Arabia joined our faction last time. Thank you, Yusuf Ibn Abd al-Qadir. Qadir. Qadir. 
Thank you for joining the faction. Thank you very much. So, that was really cool. Uh, yeah, I mostly left the Japanese alone. There's really no point for me to try to do anything against them. So, uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, we are winning in southern France, and that's how we got this giant push. Northern France is one heck of a problem. But I am really starting to think about how we're going to invade the UK. Because they're going to be a problem. It's going to be a huge problem trying to invade them. Oh, the American Navy. We found it. Also, last time I did show you in the Black Sea, we trapped a British fleet. And we just utterly decimated them. It was great. I've actually put my subs, my old bad subs, to work. And they've been doing pretty well. I've lost a lot of <laughs> old subs. But, you know, that's what they're there for, you know. Uh, yeah, no one cares about fighting, killing Japan off. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, another British battleship. Nice. So, yeah, I've heard that the naval meta really has almost completely gone back to using light cruisers and some destroyers with, like, torpedoes and well, lots of torpedoes and those catapult planes and stuff like that because torpedoes are pretty much, I've heard, are king in the latest naval meta. So, it's good to keep an eye on that. All right, now... We're slowly breaking into Spain. Uh, I mean... Ooh, night vision. Nice. 1948. Approved Amtrak. Better mountaineer. Actually, let's go ahead and research some Marines, because I'm going to need the best soldiers to invade the UK, because obviously, we're probably not going to do super great against them. Nice. And let's get rid of these guys down here. They're so, so annoying. With, especially on the Maginot line. Maginot. Whatever you, how you pronounce it. And it sounds like we're getting navally invaded again. A lot of losses, a lot of losses, but that's pretty typical. Where are we getting invaded, guys? Benelux. Typical. Yeah, they always try to invade up here. Quite literally, almost always. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the Netherlands. Yeah, I just need more heavy fighters. But I can't produce any more heavy fighters because I need more military factories. Which I am making more, but I need more infantry equipment. I definitely need more heavy bombers, but where are my heavy fighters? There you are. You go up to the top. Now I need more rubber, god dang it. Mm, sure, thanks for the rubber again. Uh, Hungary. Yeah, Hungary. Oh, it's like a British converted cruiser hull carrier. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. What's happening over here? Oh, we sunk a... Our allies have sunk a British convoy. Good. And we're getting navally invaded in the Benelux again. Go figure. So I do have a couple, like I said before, Czech divisions with a few Romanians in here. Uh, where should I send them? Actually, I'll just send them down here. I should have done this a while ago. But I was using these Czechs and Romanians as kind of a extra force to use, just in case that could be used if I get navally invaded, which I did many, 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 many times. Ooh, oh, there's an American fleet right there. Man, if we could cut this portion off, it would help us so much. Guys, I just want you to be careful when you attack. You don't want to be crazy. You don't want to be too nuts. And we're going to save our nukes, probably for the UK. I'll probably nuke a certain area. I really don't know how I'm going to invade the UK, because at this point, it's really difficult to invade the UK, since it's so late in the game. This, if we could take Mets, that would cut off all these guys, which would really help us out. Hmm... I don't want you to suffer too many losses, though, because we are out of infantry equipment, so... Yeah. And it looks like it's only getting worse. Go ahead and stop the assault for now. We're doing a good enough job as is. I mean, we've busted into Spain, a little portion of Spain already, so that's not bad. Go ahead and reform your front line. Because we will capitulate the French in this episode, which will be good. Which would be very, very good. Go ahead. If you could take these guys out, that would be great. Ooh, nice. The destroyer sunk. Lost a couple planes. Sunk an American convoy. Another American convoy. Another American convoy. And these are two of my fleets. Yeah, two battleships. Actually, that's a battleship and a super heavy battleship. A light cruiser with the... Oh, wow, they've actually helped sink a lot. Uh, with has dual purpose guns, I think. That's, oh, that's actually really bad. Holy crap, this is really not a good... 1944 light cruiser? How is this a good light cruiser? What the heck? Hold on. Wait a second here. Holy schmokerinos. That's not a good light cruiser. 
How am I using something this garbage? Give me some of that. This is okay. I don't mind the dual purpose because that's actually pretty good. This, though, this has to be a better cruiser battery. Uh, if I did that, that actually gives you quite a bit more attack and pierce. Yeah, I'll do that for now. Uh, obviously, better anti air. We have to have radar on these bad boys. Uh, definitely a better engine. Dual purpose, and then the best armor. Yeah, how am I using that crappy light cruiser like that? That's pathetic. I'm not going to lie. That's really pathetic of me to do that. I apologize. That is actually terrible. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> I was making really bad ships. Yeah, make that, but we'll upgrade that one eventually. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. That's almost worthless. Eh, it's not worthless, but it could be optimized so much better. I generally go for quality over quantity, so... Alright, go ahead and just kind of hang out. We gotta produce a lot more guns, unfortunately. I'm actually already on 150. I'm making almost 2,500 guns a day, which is kind of insane to think about. Uh, fuel, we're doing really well on fuel, no problems there. It's 1948. Let's extract a little bit more resources first. Actually, I should have done more... Oh, there's a British fleet here. I should have done more factory output. God dang it, who invaded again? And they, they took a port. Eh, whatever. Happens, you know. And a wild ace appears with a giant picture. Wow. Uh, let's see. You guys. Are more of you down here yet? No, I could really use you somewhere else. Uh, you guys. Since you're down here. Oh, oh, okay, we got Livorno taken care of. Nice. Grand Battle Fleet. I think we're done with our Naval Doctrine now. Yep, we're done with the Naval Doctrine. I heard trade introduction is now actually the best uh, one you want to do. Base strike, I've heard, is not good at all now, but in trade introduction is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, let's go to dispersed industry. Thank you. Lost a plane. Oh well. Nice. Defeat those three French divisions. That would be great. France, what is your manpower like? You have to give up eventually. Actually, not bad for them. More than half a million manpower on service by requirement. That's actually pretty good. Ah, uh, 1936 carrier hull. Let's go ahead and switch over to streamline manufacturing. That would definitely help out. And it looks like Ireland was invaded by the French. Okay, then. Nice. Again, another American destroyer. And output right now. We're doing definitely a lot better on guns, which is great. I will attack the French again once we have a good enough number of guns. Nice. We actually broke through here. Awesome. Hopefully we can get the rest of Palermo and things of that nature. A nice heavy cruiser was sunk. Why, 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 my friends, why? Why must we suffer this terrible fate together? Actually, where are you guys? You are moving somewhere. Take you. Come down here. Aspezia. Yeah, a lot of this has just been looking at who I've killed off already. So, and of course, North Africa is getting invaded because my Coast Guard divisions literally are doing nothing and I forgot to put them on here. God dang it. You know, I guess if you even take, like, or contest the Strait of Gibraltar, the rock here, like, I don't even have Gibraltar, but I'm contesting it, you shouldn't be able to move anything through here. That doesn't make sense. If I have Ceuta. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. So... But then again, I mean, I guess they can invade through Spain and then navally, or, you know, and navally invade this way, so. Uh, take the tanks. And just go ahead and just kill them all. Just literally just go there. Uh, got another Polish division. Go on the Coast Guards. Awesome. Nice. Another American destroyer sunk. At least I don't think they can get their ships through here. That'll be good. Because I do have the Suez as well as we're contesting that straight. I will need to take out the Greeks though eventually. Oh, good. We got this guy done. Nice, 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 nice. You guys, uh, you know what? I'm going to use you guys and maybe abuse you a little bit. Put you all right here. I want you to help attack Metz, which has a level 10 fort, which is a really terrible idea to attack that area. Really bad idea. Lost a plane, but we sunk an American destroyer. Yeah, these ships pretty good, pretty good. Not bad at all. 
Uh, take a look at our supplies. 44,000 guns out. Could be worse. I have some tea here, too. Wow. I can't believe that, uh... It's already been 20 minutes since I started recording this. Jeez. Now I said destroyer sunk, destroyer sunk. Lost a plane in exchange for a destroyer and six more planes. Yeah, push those stupid Americans out. They don't they don't know what they're doing. And they know not of the consequence. Oh, a British battleship, nice. Last couple planes, whatever, planes are replaceable. Maybe except for my heavy fighters. Which we're making 14 a day, that's not bad. Modern tanks, we got lots of modern tanks. We're almost we're pretty much now done using modern tanks. Or heavy tanks, I mean. We might want to switch to mechanized eventually, but it's got to be good mechanized. Got to be speedy mechanized boys. But at least this part of the Magonaut's done. That's good. Oh my god. I just want to invade. Is there anywhere I could like actually attack? Yes. Actually, there, yes it is. <laughs> Let's attack this way. We have the Danish defending this area in Belgium, so we definitely should be able to win here. Should. Should is a good word. But should doesn't mean will. So. Okay, we lost. Do it again, then. Actually, you stay there. I don't want them to invade. Uh, come on, guys. This is really bad. I know I keep attacking, I really shouldn't keep attacking with the same divisions over and over and over and over again, but I just want to win here, man. You look like you have enough organization now, go ahead and try that. Oh, come on, planes. Stupid planes. Ugh. So bad, man. So bad. Yeah, I can't even break through here, that's really incredibly pathetic. Like, they don't even have that good of divisions, but it's just they have air superiority, that's the biggest thing. But it looks like we took it after, like, several days. Ah, very good. Let's take a quick look at this. Under port strikes, not interesting, not interesting. I lost a plane, blah, blah, blah. Sunk two enemy ships, good. In exchange for a couple planes, an American battleship has been sunk. Followed by an American convoy, a couple of American ships, a couple more British ships, another British ship. Another British ship. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead and tell them to eat nothing. <laughs> Eat nothing. There you go. Thought I told everyone to come this way. Hmm. Nice American convoy sunk. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Uh, you guys. Yeah, this stack. Mm. How was Africa looking? Actually, we might need to guard the coastline of Africa. Ooh. That would not be a lot of fun. But it's a necessary evil. Yeah, just in case we get navally invaded. I don't think they will, but, you know, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before about things, so. Do that, 192. Just, like, guard all of Africa. Uh, we're not even at war with Liberia, but guard Liberia anyways. Never know what those Liberians might do. Nice, we still should, we should have enough garrison divisions for all that. And obviously, I can take off a lot of the garrison divisions once we finally close off the Mediterranean. Which might happen when you're when, when I'm playing this off screen. Oh, nice a British convoy! Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, oh no, they invaded. Oh, this is not American carrier. But this, come on, man, that's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. At this point, I'm gonna have to move my tanks out of here. I need all you guys to move, like get out of here. I need you to come here, take these guys out. And actually, I'm going to tell these guys to hop back to Europe if you can, quickly. Don't go through the Mediterranean. Ah, another American uh, carrier sunk. Great. Actually, the Americans do have a lot of carriers, so it's a good thing to know. All right, gun, guns, guns, guns. We have a pretty good stockpile of guns right now. We're making 1.8 thousand a day. Absolutely ridiculous. Can we win here? Probably not. We should probably only attack in areas... Oh, we're actually doing okay. Um, Can I pull off any more heavy fighters or something like that from other places? Black Sea? Well, you don't need to be in the Black Sea anymore. Send you this way. That'll be good. Johnny, be good. And, of course, I know we lo we've lost that battle, but whatever. Uh, I really don't want to split my armies up. 
I really don't want to try another full style attack yet. I will use more nukes if needed, so I am not against using nukes at all. But then again, I need air superiority, so let's think let's talk about that. Air superiority. Go ahead and switch this over to better guns. Yeah. I need more planes and I need more steel. Steel and planes. Just give me more. I have to have more. Planes, please. Papers, please. Go ahead and do another soft attack. If you can do well, great. If you can't, that's okay as well. Something tells me we'll probably break through central France, perhaps? Probably not Spain or north France, so. Mm, actually, our ships might have gotten really damaged. That's not good. Oh, we actually lost a, an early heavy battleship. Okay. Uh, as long as it... Yeah, these are early heavy battleships. We lost one. Go ahead and repair. Yeah. I guess I was using one of my earlier fleets. But as long as these guys are okay, go ahead and repair as well. Because why not? That'll be good for us. And only one thing is repair. That's good. Oh, okay. Germany has taken part of Belgium. I see that old imperialist spirit is still somewhat strong in Germany. Oh, I've already got you guys down here, so which is good. So I'll just go ahead and surround these stupid Americans and make sure they go bye-bye. Yeah, they go commit die. Hmm. If you're wondering, I am drinking a little bit of tea right here. No coffee today. Or at least at this moment. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, we're really not winning anywhere here. Really unsatisfying. Really quite bad. Yeah, I mean, the defense... Okay, so apparently the Allies have moved all their planes to northern France instead of the Benelux, which is kind of interesting to think about. And we still can't take Maastricht. Which really doesn't make any sense in my head, but you know... Okay, then. If we can split the French up and focus on two fronts, perhaps, that would be kind of nice. Oh, and we actually already split these guys up. Nice. Hopefully that'll be good. I'll do whatever it takes to just continue pummeling these enemies. And you go ahead when you can. Just just get rid of them. Nice. Nice. And Belgium's People's Republic has decided to finally go bye-bye. Well, at least we capitulated somebody in this episode. That's good. Oh my goodness, there's a giant hole here. Can you... Uh, you probably can't exploit this hole. Or, actually. Actually do that. I want to cut off these few divisions. It's not that many divisions, but I still want to cut them off. Come on. And they went bye-bye. Yay! I guess I'm out of support Oh, no. I'm out of support equipment now. Oh, I'm not even making any. That's so bad. Oh. Uh, I really don't want to get rid of too much. I'll lower the amount of tanks we're making a day since we're pretty good on tanks at this point. Nice. I am, make I am using 1947 modern tanks, so good to keep that in mind. And our ex... Our... Uh, we... Ugh, the stupid enemy actually got all that territory back. I mean, this is honestly a little bit... Not very much fun, to be honest with you. Just slogging yourself against the enemy that just w refuses to die. Not very much fun. But I will make it fun. I will. 1948. We already got this stuff going, which is awesome. More fuel. Don't really need that. Engineering. Uh, sure. Modern radio design stuff. Why not? I mean, I will eventually break through the enemies. So, but this video was mostly geared to show you what I've been up to for the past year and trying to break through the Allies' extremely well defended or very thick enemy lines. That's really what they are. They're not really well defended, they're just extremely thick lines. Which is quite annoying to fight. Actually, really extremely annoying to fight because it just doesn't make any sense. Especially if you're running out of ships, UK. But regardless, we have split this, these fronts up, which is actually kind of nice. Go ahead, I'm going to send you down here. And I'll send, I'll concentrate the 6th Army Group in the north and use these two to garrison the front with the Spanish. That'll be good. Good, good, good. And our tanks are hopefully moving back. Where are you guys? Yeah, you're actually taking the land path. Good. Except you. What the heck are you doing? Why are you being the weird 
little black sheep here. No, 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 everyone needs to go. We're all tankies here. We're all tankies. Awesome. La Rochelle. We're... Mm, what are the casualties like? We've suffered probably 6 million, 6.36, 6, so be it. We have low manpower. We only lost in 2 million, whatever. Uh, right now, since we're running out of, like, supplies, really steel, I'm going to lower myself from limited exports to close economy. I want more of my own supplies. Oops. My own supplies, so. That should help a little bit with the amount of steel that we need. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's much better. Don't have to borrow anyone else's stuff. That's good. Just blowing up a lot of ships, losing apparently a lot of planes. But trying to compete against the United States and the French and the UK's air forces can be, at times, a little difficult. But it looks like our allies are actually getting quite a few more divisions and somewhat able to actually defend their own ports. Which is actually kind of nice. Finally. Oh, we're actually pushing down here a little bit. Huh. Good job, guys. You're doing great. In the north, obviously, it's not going as great, but it could be going a lot worse. Oh, my goodness. They actually landed in Calais. Yeah, don't let them push. Yeah, get out of here, America. No D-Day for you. Very good. Very, very good. Very nice. Oh, our soldiers are already down here. Nice. Very good. Oh, it looks like these areas are actually somewhat lightly defended, so if you can, just go right ahead. It's going to cost us quite a few men, but I think in the end it will be worth it to at least push the Allies out of continental Europe. That's really, really, really what I want. <laughs> and it's close off the Mediterranean. Nice. Very good, very, very good. So yeah, I mean, not much has happened in this video. I mean, sure, I guess we capitulated the Belgians, but uh, let's go ahead and stop the attack. It's not going, come on, it's not going super great. Call it off. Recall all you guys. Reorganize yourself up here so we can have one giant final push. I'll probably actually do this off screen. Just because I know my schedule and I want to make sure I can actually get stuff accomplished before we move on too far. So we'll reorganize up this area. Which really is kind of stupid. Because the allies should not be able to do this regardless. Uh, we should. I should be able to push into Spain pretty darn well. I know some of you guys will complain that you'd rather watch me do this. But... I'd rather just get through it at this point, seeing as this grind, this type of grinding just isn't fun. So, yeah, but with that in mind, though, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Uh, this is just kind of an update on where we're at. Uh, if you, you know, like the video, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow, and I will show you how dead the French are. Thank you very much for watching, guys.